Alrighty, so I've got a bit of a fix-it job today uh, on this old Shimpo pottery wheel. Um, it's an RK2 model from the 1970s. Build date there, 1977. So that makes it, what is that? So that's a 46-year-old wheel now, pretty impressive. currently not running so the motor works um, but something's up with the drive assembly that's not working so let's have a look in here Those rubber mounts are responsible for holding tension in that belt and they've just snapped so that's going to be our issue. It's a bit of an interesting design that Shimpo have done there because there's quite a fair bit of tension that runs through that V-belt and that tension is purely held by these little rubber mounts there. So we're pulling out this drive wheel assembly to be able to take off the other broken half of those rubber mounts. Here are the new mounts. They're actually a high quality product made in Australia. These replacement rubber mounts, you can get cheaper Chinese versions, but they just won't hold up as long. So you might as well put good ones back in and save having to do this down the track. So they just thread straight back into the bracket and the whole piece can go back in.
So the belt is back on and now we're going to need to adjust the positioning of the motor cradle so that the cone is going to be contacting that rubber correctly. At the moment it's not even um, not even touching it. So there's these four bolts here to slide it this way. That adjustment point that I'm working on there, this is also how you can fix a wheel that is running but the wheel head slips if you put a lot of force through it. So sliding this assembly over will mean there's more pressure between that motor cone and the flywheel rubber giving you more torque. So you can just adjust that slightly to get a bit more power out of your machine. Let's go. 